everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Exactly. And magic. And <laughs> magic. Uh, my name is Jamie. I'm Jeff. We're here today to do another episode of our board games and brew video series. With a little twist. With a little twist. This is a board gamey thing. Yeah. Totally. Today, we are going to be cracking packs. Okay, so we need to add some context. Okay. I used to be a big Magic the Gathering player. I haven't played in probably two or three years. Jamie has always wanted to get into Magic. I have con some concerns just due to the cost of Magic itself and magic, the cards magic, and stuff. Magic. Anywho, recently we bought a couple pre-release packs from the Strixhaven School of Mages. So we are going to crack some packs today. Crack and packs. And we'll take see where this journey is going to take us. So Jamie, she doesn't know how to play Magic. Mm -mm. I don't know what cards are valuable now or anything like that. So we're doing this completely blindly. I do have in front of me a list of the Strixhaven cards. Yeah, I'm we're just excited. gonna start opening up some packs and see see what happens. So if you're into magic and you wanna watch this. Cracking packs, taking names. Let's do it. Yeah, I know nothing about magic, but I want it to get the box with a cute girl on it. Oh, I should mention, so <laughs> You might be wondering, like, why Strixhaven? So, A, it, it, we just, we had access to the pre-release packs. Jamie was super into the theme. It's like the, a magic school. Yeah, the magic stuff, the the mages, and that sort of thing. So, that's kind of why we, we stuck with this. And then, again, we'll see, we'll see where this journey takes us, because magic is Taking us right to the bank. Bottomless pit of <laughs> time and money. I do think magic would be a great game for us to play together. And the addiction is real. So, I'm a little bit worried. Because the biggest addiction for me from Magic was opening up packs. <laughs> this is going to be the thing that either like, you're like, I want to do that again right now. And if that's the case, which I think it's going to be. I I'm, already want to do it again. I'm super concerned. So anyway, yeah. yeah, we're going to crack some Magic packs and hope we get some good cards. Yeah. Anyway, Jamie's getting antsy here. I'm ready to go. I don't cool. know anything about magic, but I asked cool. to get the box of the cute girl on it. Yeah. And Jeff's has. Uh, so Jamie, yours has I a have. Girl too. I have the Prismari pre-release pack, and Jamie has Quandrix, Quandrix pre-release pack. Yeah. So I think that only maybe would dif differentiate the promo card that will be inside. I don't know. Let's get crack a lacking. Crack a lacking. Let's crack some magic on this Saturday morning. I remember I used to watch Jeff do this, like in the car. We would go to places and he'd just be like, I just got to get a pack. I. <laughs> You're like a smoker. Like, I yeah. just got to stop and get a pack. I'm so excited. Mine's a, a better color than yours. One. So, Woo! cool little dice. So. Each pack comes with a D10. Mine is... A D10? A D20, sorry. Mine is the same colors of the box here, so if you can't see it, um, you can put it up to the camera there. Yeah. <laughs> Always good to have some that. D20s around. I love them. They're so hefty. One. Yeah. We have a few other... A natural one. We have some few other D20s from my, my days in the past. My oh, did you get this? Fondrix, College of New Numer. Num Jamie's freaking out over the numeromancy. Uh, card Ew, list. is mine the math one? What does yours do? It's too late now. They wouldn't accept me into this house. Ooh, Jeff, what does yours say? Mine's I pretty. I, I don't know why we're doing this. I don't. I'm not interested in these I little am? thing. College of Elemental Arts. It's too late, man. Too bad. So sad. What, what's numer? What's numeromancy? Aw, oh, man. Well, mine's got a fox. Yeah. And a cool girl. Yours is definitely cuter. Yeah. Mine's definitely more badass. I just badass, hope that it's though. not about numbers. Mine has a reindeer, though. Sorry. So I got, as my promo card, Velo Marcus Lorehold. Lorehold. And I'll <laughs> show it here. Can I open it out of this? I'm not going to, because I want to check what the cost of them are. <laughs> Mine is Mascot Exhibition. It's got a deer on it. Mascot Exhibition. Ew. There's something weird coming out of that one's mouth. Mascot Expedition. I don't know if you can see. So we're pretty much just going to open these and go right to the mythic. Mythic? Is that what this is? It's shiny. Why didn't it bring that up? So rare. Oh, it's got the only one. Mascot Exhibition. Oh, Exhibition, not Expedition. Yeah, Expedition. Mascot Ex Exhibition. exhibition. <laughs> what did I say? Expedition. <laughs> All right. I think you did anyway. I could have misheard you. Two dollars. Foil though. Yeah, five bucks. Five dollars? We'll have to look it up though because the promo cards are a bit different. So okay. I wouldn't open that right now. We'll check that out. I need... Oh, this is... 
This is already chaotic. Mine's better than yours. Mine's a $10 card. What? We might be able to trade some of these in for more cards, so we should be careful. I like this one, though. Because then we could build full decks. It's Mine's nice. How do, well, put yours on your side. I want to get mixed. Don't get it twisted. All right. I don't know what these are. It looks like just a pack of commons. Commons. They must be, these must be to just fill your decks out with. Commons are bad? Um, oh, some token cards and some, oh, nice. Prismari Command is my rare. Rare? So it'll be kind of like this, Jamie. The black, <gasps> the black is a common. Oh, okay. And then as you get close to the back, it'll turn to. Look at that rat. Oh, squirrel. It'll turn to, yeah, so squirrels are a big thing, I think, in this. So you have a rare there. Totally. What's this? Now. So that is a token. So some cards will allow you to summon um, token creatures, which would be this. Yeah. Very cool art on those. I have this one different. Yep, yeah, they're, they're going to be different every time. Every pack's different. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, Kelpie. Sure. It's cute. We can't do every card, otherwise it's going to be a four-hour long video. This is all new to me. Um, so I got the Prismari Command in that first initial... Um, unsealed pack. I don't know what they're called, but Prismari Command, which is a red, blue, instant cast ability. I got the teachings of Archaics, which is a really ugly thing with a lot of arms. So sorcery blue. That's what I said. All right. <laughs> Crack it back. Wait, that's your person. So we're cracking our first official pack. Now, I used to do this a different way. When I would open a pack, I would actually start from the back because I was so excited, but I'm going to do it the traditional way, I think. Was I not supposed to see that? No, it's fine. Okay. It's just a token. How do you have this so one? I'm going to go through the commons. Again, I don't want to extend this video until we get to the uncommons. Okay. So my first uncommon is Thunderous Orator. Mine is Solve the Equation. This is definitely a math group. Definitely. It's the girl on the box. Reconstruct History. Returned Past Caller. So mine's a sorcery. Jamie has a, a bird. creature. Show of Confidence, which is a white instant. Master Symmetrist. Rhino. Druid. Uh, green creature. Okay. And my rare is Fervent Mastery, which is a red sorcery. Mine is Lo Leonin Light Scribe. It's a lion. <laughs> uh, creature white um, <laughs> rare. Ooh, what is this? Jeff, look at mine. E. Yeah, these are unique. So they must be unique. Be careful with these. They might oh. be worth some coinage. So... These must be unique to the set. Just the uh, border's a little bit different. Uh, Jamie actually got a rare. I did? Um, which might be worth some decent dollars. Dollar, dollar So bills. maybe you put that with your promo. I don't need to keep them in an order. No. But mine's called uh, Putrefy. Petrify. Putrefy. Putrefy, sure. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Mine's Duress, which is a sorcery. I'm assuming they're all going to be instance my last card's different than yours all right we're on to the next one so jamie might have pulled some decent i'm rich again i don't know anything about this pack or this set so i don't know what's what but am i rich i'm gonna rip through my commons here get to the people what the people want here uh, my first uncommon is expressive iteration which is a blue red sorcery i have clever Lo loomy mancer <laughs> loomy mancer it's a wizard uh White creature. My next uncommon is Explosive Welcome, which is a red instant for an insane cost. Uh, eight cast cost. Practical Research. So Jamie has a blue red instant. I got the nerd pack. They have one of these. My rare is Culmination of Studies. What? Oh, why are you taking so long? Uh, I thought I was the same. I have another Kelpie Guide. Kelpie Guide. Uh, my rare is Culmination of Studies, which is a red blue sorcery. Dig. Dig. Demogoth. Demogoth. Titan. Titan. The demon. Um, which is a black green creature. I don't like uh, it. Big boy. 11, big boy. 10. 11, 10. I got a rare border, interesting border one. I don't know what these borders are called. Uh, Faithless Looting, which has some really cool art. I've never seen anything like that before. He's pretty. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, that's a guy. Well, yeah. he's pretty then. Faithless Looting, which is a red sorcery. Jamie got an uncommon Revitalize, which is a white instant. All right, we are about to open three of five, I guess. 
three of five. Three for me. How do you do it so quickly? Experience. <laughs> I'm in. All right. One second. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm ripping through my comments here. Math again. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Would love to see a planeswalker, which are, I think are professors in this one. Tenured Ink Caster, which is a uncommon black creature, vampire warlock. Containment Breach. Containment Breach. Green. Green Sorcery. Lesson card. I have another Prismari Apprentice, which I've pulled before, which is a uh, blue red creature, human shaman. Oh, I see a foil behind there. Whoopsies. I have Show of Confidence. Show of confidence, so white instant. Right on. Oh, oh no, that's different than yours. It looks uh, the same. Next uncommon is Containment Breach, which is a green lesson card sorcery. Maelstrom Muse, wizard. Jin Wizard, uncommon. Jin. Maelstrom Muse. Our first rare land. Oh, interesting. We both we both pulled the same thing. The same thing. Yours isn't foil. I don't know why you're doing that. It is right here. Yeah, that's just. Oh. <laughs> Um, we both pulled a rare land, Hall of Oracles. Yeah. Oh. What happened? So I just have, I need to call Jason. Oh, God. I don't know what this is worth, but it might be worth a lot. Why do you think that? It's a mythic, and it's got the special border. I've never seen these borders. Mythic is red? Yeah. That's the highest rarity. Jason. Hello? Jason, listen to me. <laughs> Hello? Hello. We're opening up packs, and I have a question. Yeah. So the ones that have the special border. Wait, so they're not black? I pulled a mythic one. Teferi's protection. Ooh, I think that's one of the ones. Yeah, I'm looking, and it says $50. Is it the same one? Is it not black? Is it not black? Is it not black? No, I don't have quick. It's not a foil. And it says $49.99. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're rich. We can call you later when we're done, because we're filming. Yeah, but that was the one. Teferi's protection. It's protection, and it's got the special border. I'll probably sell it. That's how they get you hooked. I'm just going to sell it. That's how they hook you. Sell it to buy more board games. All right, keep it posted. Okay, bye. I pulled a non-foiled Teferi's Protection. Um, I just looked it up, and it is a $49.99 card. So awesome stuff. Well, mine's called Shock. Shock. Uncommon. And then I have a foil common Spring Main Servin, which is just a green creature. Why don't I have foiled ones? They are randomized. Like so Teferi's protection, good, good pull. Well, we only paid thirty-five Canadian for these. Yeah, so that card has paid for this pack. First uncommon up is Damagoth Woe Eater, which is a really cool black green creature. I have an elephant. Oh, nice. Quintorius Field Historian, legendary creature, uh, red white. Cool. Elephant cool cleric. I pulled a dog. Uh, Stonebinders Familiar. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, it is a white creature spirit dog. Jamie is a lover of animals, so this will probably go to her. I pulled an old witch. Oh, oh tenured ink caster, uh, vampire warlock. That's pretty cool. Uh, black creature. My last uncommon is Dina Soul Steeper, uh, legendary creature dryad druid, green. Black. I have one of these Prismati. Uh, Prismari apprentice. apprentice yeah, yeah, you had one. Yeah. Red, blue. Oh, Jamie's got a mythic. Jamie pulled a mythic body, body of, of research. research. Got a big pig in the back. And a green, which is a green and blue sorcery, I believe. Yep. Really cool art on that, too. I really like the art in this so far. I pulled a rare callous blood mage, which is a black creature vampire warlock. I pulled a uncommon sorcery adventurous impulse, which is a green sorcery. Agonizing remorse. A black sorcery, also uncommon. Depressing. Oh, it's the last one. We have one more. Let's go buy more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what these things mean, but I'm uh, having fun. This, I actually do think there is some value in doing this together. I really do enjoy magic. And if we could play together and experience this together, that would be fun. But being mindful of the insane cost that can come with doing this stuff Ooh. needs to be taken into consideration. All right. So our uncommons are mine's ac academic dispute, which is a red instant. I have closing statement, which is a gold instant. Uh, white, black instant. What? Uh, up here. Um, gold usually means that it's dual. All right. I have pulled Ooh. a maelstrom muse, which I believe Jamie pulled before. Uh, mm -hmm. Blue, red creature. 
Grinning Ignis. Some weird looking troll red, dude. Red creature. My next uncommon is Bookworm. It is a massive green creature. I've got one of those. Dueling Couch. It's a monk. Uh, yeah, so a white monk creature. Yeah. So our last rares for this I set, like her. I have a white strict proctor, spirit cleric creature. I have a black Sedgemore witch, and she's bad ass. Yeah, she's cool. I like the art on that. Mm, okay, that's <gasps> the last rare. I saw something shiny behind this one. I would assume Jamie has a foil coming up. All right, so our special cards, again, I, I apologize. I don't know what they're called. Mine's an uncommon opt, um, which is a scry card for uh, blue. God's uh, willing. Nice. So white instant. Cool card. Yeah, we'll have to look that one up. God's willing. Uh, Jamie has her first and only foil. It is a common first day of class instant ability. And a treasure. And a treasure token artifact. <laughs> so that's it. How do you feel? Well, you got more shiny ones than I did. How much money do we make? <laughs> <laughs> we will proceed to look at the value of these cards. One thing to take into consideration when you're like, why are you just looking at the value of these cards and, and whatever? Yeah, I'm we, curious. Ultimately, what I think I'm going to do is some of the cards we pull, if they're, if they're valuable before they decrease in value or whatever, there's a place here in Canada called Face-to-Face -face Games. Uh, it's basically an online trading system. So it might be a beneficial way for us to accumulate enough cards to have traditional deck. The point with Magic is having, in some instances, multiple iterations of the same card, mm -hmm. which you can't really get from packs because it would just take a lot of packs to get four of one card. Mm. So that's where trading comes into play and stuff. It's a really cool uh, format that I think you would enjoy. But we also need to just teach you Magic, <laughs> uh, which we'll get to. But I, we skip over all these basic cards, but they have some cute stuff on them. So we skipped over the commons. We went right to the uncommons Ooh. and rares because Pop quiz. that's just how I do. But now Jamie is going through all the commons and looking at the artwork. What I will say is in the brief little like uh, filtering through these cards, artwork on this set is incredible. Top um, notch. I really, really like. They don't have the typical black border around the card. They are. Um, they have some patterns around them, and I believe. The Teferi's Protection is probably the most valuable card we pulled in the two sets. More um, than Pest Summoning? <laughs> yes, more than your Black Common, I believe. Anywho, that's magic. magic. And we're going to do more of this stuff. Sure. I'm just really excited to look at all of this stuff. Come on. I, I got to stop fiddling. Yeah, be careful, too. There might be some valuable cards in there. That... Okay, don't touch. Like a museum. Yeah. It's a game I'll never play worth money. So we are planning on opening up a Patreon at some point, uh, mm -hmm. potentially in July. And we thought that one of our Patreon early exclusive videos will be any magic videos that we do. Yeah. Learning magic with Jamie. Learning magic with Jamie. We'll now, see how it goes. That's not to say that if you choose not to support us on Patreon, which is 100% totally yep. fine, that you're not going to have access to these videos. You just won't have access to them uh, for like a month. The Patreon decision was not an easy one for us, but we've probably spent around $1,000 of our own money so far mm -hmm. um, upgrading equipment and, and stuff like that because we want to keep putting out good content. So yeah. Patreon was just an, an idea we had to help in some way alleviate some of the costs associated with doing this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have more information coming out about that. It's not live yet. So this is not like an official announcement, but we just thought that that would be, this would be kind of like a fun thing that we could do on that Patreon mm -hmm. account. But... I'm pretty excited. Yeah, me too. To get into magic's this. Magic's fun. And Jason, Jason's still big into magic. Uh, Zach's into magic too. So it'll be good to explore together. I'm going to be the best at this game. I, I am concerned that magic will cut into our normal board game routine. A perfect travel game. But yeah, that is <laughs> a, that is 100% accurate. Like it is so cool to bring and just play magic on a vacation when you're yeah. Got a rainy day and stuff, but yeah. And I don't know if you guys knew this. You probably didn't. But the Boardroom Game Cafe does sell magic cards. They do. They do. Uh, so if you are in Halifax, you might want to visit them to find all of your magic needs or just your friendly local gaming store. There are so many gaming stores that are like magic specific, like usually magic and Warhammer more yeah. so than even board games. Like yeah. in Halifax, there's the deck box. 
Mm-hmm. There's, There's a bunch of a bunch, bunch of places. That, you and can do I think the deck box is specifically magic. No, they do Pokemon. Okay, well they do like well. they do the living Warhammer. card game type of stuff. Yeah. But anyways, the Bordering Game Cafe does have magic things, so you should definitely go check them out. We'll make sure to put they're all not their information. just board games. No, we'll put their information right they're- here and then also down below. Thank you guys for joining us in this video. Yeah. Also, this is our first like attempt at like opening packs on video so yeah uh, we'll if get, there's a specific format that you prefer for we'll this let us it. know maybe if there's any magic channels that you really enjoy let us know and we can see how the professionals yeah. do it yeah we're not going to become a magic channel but no we- so if you like what you see please, please subscribe, subscribe. To foster the meeple and don't forget to follow us on social media on instagram and twitter we are at foster the meeple and we would love to interact with you there leave some comments down below if you yourself play magic the gathering (laughs) mtg every time we play i will start by saying magic i'm just really concerned that the i wouldn't even say concerned but like i already want to go buy more if the dialogues of magic start to happen in the comments it's just gonna be a runaway train yeah it's all good people love i really like these dice i used to have some really really cool ones i'm really sad that i sold it all now i I sold my entire magic collection many years ago and now i'm i regret (laughs) no regrets i regret so before we say our farewells Two things. This is Jeff and Jamie from the future. First thing I wanted to say. We completely forgot to do this. We for- completely forgot to do this, but we did just calculate the value of all of our cards. And would you like? We pulled, I think, four or five cards, which equated out to $92. 92 With a trade value. I didn't realize that magic was a money-making business. It can be. The one Teferi's protection card was... $45 of that. So. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how much money we just made. <laughs> well, no, what we, we're saying. we got $92 for the value and we paid 65 bucks for the pack. So really we came out $20 up. <laughs> money. Yeah. What we wanted to also do is announce the winner of our giveaway, which we have for our 1,000 subscribers. Yes. yes. So and we have a winner. We had a ton of entries. Thank you to the people that are international and could win this contest, but still commented. But still commented. Like that was awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We, we will do, do something for We you. will do an international giveaway soon. So, but for this one, we have a winner. We do. I used a random number generator yeah. uh, and then just kind of went through the comments yeah. and found that person. So the winner of just one for a thousand subscriber giveaway is... Jim Cletus. Jim Cletus. Now... If I'm pronouncing your last name incorrectly, I apologize. K L E D I S. Oh, Cletus. Yeah. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Cletus? Cletus? Cletus. Cletus. Lettuce? Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. I apologize if I'm getting that incorrectly, but you are the winner. Yes. And so he how do we is send hashtag this? team Jafami. Yeah, he picked but he was he a fence He obviously sitter. is leaning more towards me. I do I think, think he he is likely leaning Jamie's direction, but he did fence sit and pick both of us and I will Which not was, fault him for that. Yes. And didn't you say he lives in Orlando? So, we'll see you at Disney then. Yeah, cool. So Jim, you are the winner of just one. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting and being so active with us in yeah. our comments. That's amazing thank you to everyone so when you see this gym please uh send us an email our email is in our description box just saying hey i won along with your address and all that good stuff and we will get this game shipped out to you too sweet too sweet too sweet right away cool. congratulations jim congratulations. and thank you again to everyone that entered and thank you to the boardroom game cafe for, for providing this yes to us to to give away and there'll be more stuff coming up in the future thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video we hope to see you again soon and now we say goodbye there it is goodbye (laughs) (laughs) they're about to have a very magical time you can also buy magic at the boardroom game cafe yeah sure can so these aren't worth anything I don't take this out of the wrapper. Don't, just in case. I want to sell all my new cards. Question of do we want to get more cards so that we can actually play or do we just want to collect? Because if we want to collect, that's a different thing.